Hi friends, welcome to HTL Lectures. My name is Hadil. Today I'm gonna teach you why demand curve slopes downward. In the previous lecture, we have shown the demand curve is sloping downward from left to right. Yeah. Now today I'm going to show you some reason why the demand curve is sloping downwards. There are two reasons why demand curve is sloping downward. Or main uh, main two reason, it is because of income effect, and it is because of substitution effect. Now what is income effect actually there is no change in our income here we are only showing the determinant price and quantity demanded we are not incorporating any income but here the income effect means it is a real income effect real income effect what is real income effect let me explain to you real income effect is a situation where there is no change in your income which you get as a salary or anything but it is an increase in your purchasing power or the purchasing power is known as the real income that means when the price of a product is initially 10 and when it is changed to 5 here you can see a difference of 5 rupees which increases your purchasing power this purchasing power increase in purchasing power can be said as real income that means what the additional benefit you get when the market condition is changed or when the price is changed when the price is changed what is the additional benefit or purchasing power you get that is what we call as real income so real income is so this is the reason why demand curve is sloping downwards that means when you have a product with 10 rupees you are buying a product of two quantity right when the price is decreased to five now your purchasing power has been increased when the price is decreased the purchasing power or real income is increased to 5 so this 5 rupees can be used for buying additional quantity of the product so when you buy additional quantity you can see that this point a has been changed to point b this is a slope this slope is known as downward slope right so this is the one reason why your demand curve is sloping downward from A to B you can see the example now substitution effect what is substitution effect substitution effect is a situation where the same way When your price is decreased from 10 to 5, you are buying 2 quantity and 4 quantity, right? So, when the price is really decreased, you are having a substitution effect in the market. That is, when the price of a particular product is decreased, you are comparing this product with another product which for which the price is constant still constant some other substitute products for this item is constantly priced in the market and your price is decreased when your price is decreased you will have an intention to buy new product uh, new quantity of the same product for which the price has been decreased this is a uh, ability or this is the situation uh, why the consumer uh, it, this is a case where the consumer 
is more emotionally attached to that product when the price of that product is changed without changing a price in its substitute product so when you buy when the price of a particular product is decreased you are actually substituting a two uh, two additional quantity without buying any other substitute goods in the market and you are substituting that market market product with the product for which the price has been decreased i think you have understood what i have said when the price of a particular product is decreased you will demand more right more is demanded when when substitute product is constantly priced is it correct so when the substitute product is constantly priced you will buy more quantity of the same product for which the price has been decreased this is why your demand curve is sloping downward because of substitution effect these are the two main reason why your demand curve slopes downward thank you thanks for watching please subscribe if you like if you like my videos